let's say we all wake up one day and then there's nothing like the National Science and Math quiz. <laughs> it does not exist. What is Ghana losing? How does it affect Ooh. Ghana? Hey, so you're still talking. Onya, 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 onya. <laughs> <laughs> I, now this lady has brought a very big debate on the internet. Now we are seeing people who are pro NSMQ and people who are anti NSMQ. Because of the interview that she did on High School Africa YouTube channel. No? Now there's a big debate. And I have another video be that if I show you the video, if you are pro uh, national science and math, you'll be very angry. She has come out to say that she has read all the comment section things that people have been writing. No? And she, she just wants to clarify certain things. I have the food just for you. In case you're in the UK, USA or Canada and you want to send money to friends and relatives in Ghana, use Lenfi. Lenfi comes with no service charges, no transaction fees, and the exchange rates are the best. And if you use my promo code HEADLESS, you get $30 cash back on your first $100 transaction. Yes. So you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, download the Lenfi app, use my promo code, and get something nice. Now let's get into the video. I'm the Headless YouTuber that has Headless Reactions. So this lady, Rich Love Odru, a student of Ensign SHS in Axim, she said certain things about the National Science and Math Quiz and how certain schools are seen like they are the grade A schools and stuff and how the National Science and Math Quiz is a show. It's just a show. You're talking about science and math quiz. <laughs> Gosh, let me ask you a question. Is Tell it, me why. Don't ask mm -hmm. me. You see, the science and math quiz is a show. It's a what? It's a show. But then this school, my school, mm. it is not for sure. Now, this has caused a debate on the internet. If you go and check that video on High School Africa, their YouTube channel, the, the comments over there, Oja, if you go and check Twitter, Oja, Facebook, Oja, all the WhatsApp groups, all the year group WhatsApp groups, Oja, the schools that they've been winning the National Science and Math Quiz group. They are happy that, hey, they are, yes, they, they, they are bashing the girl. That the girl, she didn't say anything sensible. And most of the schools that they, they've never won national science and math schools before, no? they, they, they are happy that the girl is saying the truth. So right now, what is the issue? Now, this has led to certain people driving around Axim, they've gone to the school to go and see the girl. That who is this visionary girl? Who is this girl who is speaking so much sense on the internet? We want to meet her. So some people went to Insign SHS, which is a very soon to be called Kwame Nkrumah SHS. In Azim, they said they were driving around and they saw the school and they said that, yes, our future president is in this school. <laughs> <laughs> I, they said, our future president is in this school. Let's go and visit her. Hey, you know this girl? Travelers. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Do you know I had to enter this school because of you and this man? So, 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 let me, let me, bow, let me bow. Bless me, 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 bless me. How are you? I'm fine. I, I, in fact, I love your confidence. Thank you. You're a great girl. Thank you. You go far. Seriously, you go far. Thank you. I was shocked about what I heard. Listen here, you are doing an amazing Thank way. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are doing an amazing way too. And God will bless all of you. Thank you. Now I know that by now the people who are pro national science and mass quiz people, they are looking at this video like look at look at this foolish. <laughs> 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 yes. Now I've been I've been monitoring this thing on the internet and it's very funny because I've seen people who are bashing the girl. And I've seen people who are praising the girl. And this is the beauty of life. Now let's get into the new video that she has done. In this new video, she said that she has read all the comments in the comment section and people are misquoting her. She didn't say the National Science and Math Quiz is a bogus show. She said it is just a show. She didn't say it's bogus. She said it is a show. As I was reading the comments, I came across a certain comment that stated that I said the National Science and Math Quiz it's a bogus show. No, no, but are you aware it's, a, it's, it's social media? 
No. So, okay, you, okay, continue, you talk, talk. That, that's talk. not what I said. Okay. And then she went ahead to say that the national science and math quiz shouldn't be the benchmark to judge that, okay, this school is better than this school. It shouldn't be the national science and math quiz. It's not like the schools that win the national science and math quiz are better than schools that don't go to the national science and math quiz. The national science and math quiz, it should not be used as a benchmark to determine whether a school is good or not. Okay, it's not bogus, but no, then it should no, not no. be used to say that this school is better than this one. That's what you said. That's what I said. And then she got a very interesting challenge. She said that if we like, let's pick all those grade A schools. Let's say A per sec. Let's say all this Achimota. Let's say all, yes, all these schools. Let's go and pick all the teachers from those schools. And then let's go to the schools that are known as maybe grade F schools. Like, you know, I don't want to mention names. Maybe I'll go and mention your school, you'll be angry. But some grade F schools in some places. And let's take all the grade A teachers to those schools. And let's take all the teachers in those grade F schools, you know, to the grade, a, the grade A schools. And let's see whether the grade F schools will start winning national science and math schools or not. Let's take the teachers from school A. Move all of them to school F. And then we also take the teachers from school F and remove all of them to school A. So that they should go and do the magic. Simple. And if it does not work like that, then it means that, as I said, two years is being biased. Let the debate begin. Let the debate begin. Now, do you think this is the, if you think, uh, what do you think will happen in such a scenario? When they take all the schools from, let's say, a, yes, the grade A schools and take them to the grade F and take all the grade F teachers, take them to grade A schools you know, and let's see what will happen. This is like saying, let's take all the, a, the leaders of this, let's say America, and bring them to Ghana and take all the leaders in Ghana and take them to America. Mm, Anna, if we do that, <laughs> let me know mind in the comment section, but this is the proposal that she's bringing. And she's saying that this one, if it works, then it means the Ghana Education Service, they are doing Kululu. Mommy, I think it's not about the schools. It's about the resources that the schools have. Because some of these schools, they've invested a lot in the National Science and Math Quiz. They have teams that take care of students. When the students are on vacation, those National Science and Math Quiz people, they don't go on vacation. They are in the school, working. Like, you know, learning to go and pass National Science and Math Quiz. So if your school doesn't have the budget for National Science and Math Quiz, this is like being mad at a school that has a very equipped gym that takes care of their athletes. And then you'll be mad at them that, a, um, you'll be mad at them because when you go to Intercord, they've been winning. Meanwhile, they have the equipment, the facilities, all this long jumping, a high jumping, and then they pull votes. They do it. They have the facilities. So if you go to Intaco and those other schools are doing those playful jumpings, no. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, Rich Love went ahead to say that if Ghana, if, if the science and math quiz, if you wake up today and they are not doing it again, what will Ghana lose? But then to you watching, let's say we all wake up one day and then there's nothing like the national science and math quiz. <laughs> it does not exist. What is Ghana losing? How does it affect Ghana? Let's try and answer this question. Let's think deep and answer. Oh, that's one that we did answer in the comment section. <laughs> Just say, this girl or the assembly bow or the assembly bar. Because the kind of questions she's asking, people are in support of her, others too are not in support of her. Others are saying that what she's saying is bogus. Some people are saying that what she's saying is true. Now, this lady is suggesting that instead of investing in a show that lets students memorize scientific equations and memorize questions and answers just to come and feed them fastest on the stage, because this National Science and Math sometimes they don't even finish asking the questions. Prepare your next question. I am a P. Yes, Marcus. 
Ay, susu. Korek. Ay, according to Rich Lavno, why don't we stop investing in such a show that students just go and memorize things? Why don't we rather invest in a show that will let students create something? Think and create something. If maybe the school that can create some toys that we can sell, then we know that yes, we are creating or we are generating a, um, students who, who are thinkers, creators. You see, our, our leaders, our heads of institution, our administration, they go up and down to solicit for funds to invest into the National Science and Math Quiz, to prepare about five to seven students to go represent the school, only to produce students who are able to memorize facts, scientific facts like that, and algebra, and then we clap for them. But unless then we take the same investment, and then we invest into another program, a program where the hands are being put to work, and then let's say we produce toys, Christmas toys, and then they are being sold during Christmas, to to weed, to, yes, to weed the children. And how does that want to affect Ghana? What effect? Oh, Rich Lavodo, the assemblable, assemblable, assemblable. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But then, yeah, where the assemblable? Yeah, where the assemblable? Because this video too, there will be debate in the comment section. Now, she came to say that she has seen that almost all the comments that are bashing her, they are coming from the alumni of those schools. And the youth and so she has a message for the youth and this is her simple message for the youth please with all due respect this one goes to you the youth when it comes to critical thinking let us raise our standard a little bit just a little bit please oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> about a, what she said do you agree with her do you disagree with her do you agree with some of her points or you agree with all her points if you agree with some of her points and disagree with some of her points list them below because this is a very interesting debate now let me see if i had a podcast a, a podcast set in panka i'll bring one pro nsmq person one anti nsmq person they should come and sit down and debate because this would be a very interesting topic a very interesting topic to debate. I'd love to see it. But they are trying. The time for podcasting and stuff, no? it will come. But until then, the Samsung Blue Tag sale is ongoing. Go to any Samsung shop from now till 21st September 2024. Enter any Samsung shop, buy any of the A series or the S series, and you'll get discount as high as 30%. Yes, you can get the A05, A15, A25, A35, A55 or the S series. Any phone you buy, you get the discount. And the discount can go as high as 30%. So yes, get a Samsung phone right now and enjoy yourself. This offer ends on 21st September 2024. And I don't know. Now, let me know what you think about this rich love issue. All that she has said. Let me know what you think. And while you share your opinion, add your school so that we'll know what I mean. <laughs> 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 While you share your opinion, add your school so that we will know whether you are talking from a point of pain or you are talking from a point of, you know, happiness. Let's know in the comment section. Watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah,